Catholic News Summary of the Year 2020 Pope Francis Prophecies for 2021 The Work of God The year 2020 has been the worst year, not only for the Catholic Church, but for all nations, due to the coronavirus COVID-19. It has been a year in which apostasy has manifested itself in an impressive way. Respect for God and his institutions has been lost. We have seen the persecution of the Catholic Church in China, how they have destroyed crosses, Bibles, temples, and how they have arrested the faithful. This year, vandalism and the burning of churches in Chile, the United States, and other countries was in vogue. Because of the pandemic, social distancing, the use of masks, and other measures were implemented to avoid crowds and contagion. On March 10, 2020, the Vatican stood out for closing the Basilica and St. Peter's Square, which served as a precedent for all the bishops of the world who ordered the closure of churches and caused the interruption of the sacraments, except for the bishops of Poland. From this point onwards began the weakening of the Catholic faith, the triumph of Satan, the abolition of the perpetual sacrifice. It was the moment for change to the new virtual mass. Around July 2020, they began to open the churches for the faithful. But what a surprise! We no longer returned to the traditional Catholic Church. We no longer saw the traditional Mass. We no longer came to the temples to worship the Lord, but to worship the established modern protocols with the excuse of avoiding coronavirus infections. We no longer saw the genuine priests, because at the altar we saw masked men who distrusted the God who comes to the altar when there is faith. They no longer wanted to give the Holy Eucharist in the mouth for fear of contagion, not from us, but from the consecrated host that seems to cause them fear. These poor priests lost their faith, the, with the exception of a few brave ones counted in the hand, the little faithful remnant. remnant. The bishops all agreed to create and implement protocols more severe than those of the supermarkets. The church ceased to be a place to worship God. From that moment, it became like a prison where one feels put under control, where we go to visit God, but are forced to extreme security, subject to identification, temperature taking, cameras, and the requirement to wear a mask, as if we were not in the presence of God. However, in 2020, it was encouraging to receive the support of several bishops and cardinals in the Catholic Church who are against the new modern doctrines imposed by Jorge Mario Bergoglio, Pope Francis. Among them is Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano, who denounced the existence of a deep church, part of the Antichrist conspiracy. Bishop Athanasius Schneider said in March that Bergoglio's heresies were the cause of the punishment of the pandemic. We were also supported by Cardinal Robert Sara with his stand on the Eucharist in the mouth, who said that communion in the hand is part of Satan's attack on the Eucharist. The bishops lacked courage because they were not able to disagree with the doctrines that come from above. They preferred to wash their hands. Before the pandemic, 
they were against the Eucharist in the hand, remembering that the faithful had every right to express their adoration of God by kneeling and receiving the Eucharist in the mouth, and that also receiving the Eucharist in the hand is a way to facilitate satanic profanation and sacrileges against the real presence of Christ in the consecrated host, apart from the fact that many particles of Christ's body and blood fall to the ground and are trampled underfoot. As soon as we began to feel the rigors of the pandemic, they reversed their position about communion in the mouth and established satanic catechesis for the faithful by promoting communion in the hand. Apart from this, all masses became virtual, which has made people lose faith, since attending mass in person has diminished in an alarming way. Large cathedrals and churches register very low numbers of attendance at Holy Mass. In some churches, up to five people only. And our faith is being lost while Bergoglio has hardened his hand against seminaries precisely because priests were opposed to giving communion in the hand, as happened in Argentina, where Bishop Tausig of San Rafael ordered the closing of the Holy Mary Mother of God Seminary, harming the future of 42 seminarians who could become priests. The year 2020 has been a year for the wolf in sheep's clothing that increased its popularity because of the pandemic, since it was exalted in all Catholic homes of the world on the screens of their televisions. While with a humble posture and chosen words full of human brotherhood, Bergoglio conquered many hearts and was considered a holy father. On the other hand, he caused serious damage to the church. Although for many, this is invisible because they lack discernment. With all this, Bergoglio has paved the way for the Antichrist. Bergoglio has promoted his encyclical Laudato Si, paying homage to the Pachamama, inviting Catholics to the scene of idolatry and love of the earth, not to salvation. On every possible occasion, he mentioned the corrupt themes of Amoris Laetitia, an encyclical that promotes promiscuity and adultery. In September, Bergoglio received homosexual families at the Vatican and spoke of the wonders of their exemplary lives. It is painful for our faith to see the distortion of God's word that this man promotes by saying that everyone is a child of God, including all the wicked, and thus contradicting the Holy Scriptures, which say that nothing impure can enter heaven. Apocalypse 21 verse 27 and to make matters worse, on October the 3rd, 2020, Bergoglio launched his encyclical Fratelli Tutti, a tribute to Freemasonry that promotes human brotherhood, a Trinitarian pillar of Freemasonry. There he calls us to be all brothers, to mix pagans with believers in God. In a mixture or tutti frutti that does not recognize brotherhood in the blood of Christ, or fraternity with God the Father, a unique gift of Catholics, but denies the word of God and promotes the doctrine of the devil. On October 15, 2020, Bergoglio signed the Masonic Global Educational Pact that perverts the education of children with gender ideology and promotes abortion and population decline with birth control, all in accordance with the UN agenda. On November 10, the scandal of Cardinal Theodore McCarrick came to light. He served as Archbishop of Washington, D.C., and managed to ascend in the church hierarchy despite allegations 
against them of sexual abuse, which were not properly investigated by three popes. And this was only one of several sex scandals against priests in the year 2020. To end the year, Mr. Bergoglio, allied with the world order, servant of the devil, and politician in favor of global education, calls on all nations to offer the vaccine to all human beings, thus agreeing to the imposition of the mark of the beast announced in Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 to 18. These were some of the news of this year, influenced by the evil of Satan and human perversity, in which we began the countdown to the coming of Christ. In conclusion, we can say that in the year 2020, the temples have been closed. The perpetual sacrifice of the Holy Mass has been interrupted. Apostasy reigns. The Antichrist has his voice with the false prophet. The priests and the people of God have lost faith. What is left for us to do? All that remains for us to do is to trust in God, to increase our prayers, and to hold on to the Holy Rosary. What can we hope for in 2021? The prophecies will prove their veracity. We will have more influence from the Antichrist. We will feel the oppression of his strong hand. God will send us the illumination of our consciences to give us one last chance. The moment of divine wrath is approaching. Great punishment will come and very soon we will see the Lord in His glory. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks. And don't forget to leave your valuable comments. Tell us what you hope for for 2021. God bless you.